Welcome to Exploring Arizona Life Science Research and Biodiversity with the Tree of Life Web Project. Visit podcasts at toweb.org for learning materials to accompany this episode and to find out how to contribute to the series. Hi, I'm Lisa, Toe Learning Materials Editor, and in this podcast I'm here with Chris Schmidt, a biologist and PhD student in the Interdisciplinary Program in Insect Science here at the University of Arizona. Chris and I are talking about an amazing group of ants called Odontomachus. These ants are commonly referred to as trap jaw ants because they have unique and powerful mandibles that can in some cases move a couple of thousand times faster than the blink of an eye. Well, what's especially cool about these ants is their mandibles and how, and how they use them to hunt. There is an amazing amount of mandibular diversity in ants. Most ants have more or less triangular or curved mandibles. They use their mandibles like little hands to manipulate objects. But Antimachus, on the other hand, is able to hold its, its mandibles open at 180 degrees and snap them shut on prey with incredible speed and force. And this has actually been measured as one of the fastest, if not the fastest, movements of any animal that's been recorded. Odontomachus tends to have blunt teeth at the tips of the mandible and uses the mandibles to uh, crush or bludgeon the prey or stun the prey or dismember the prey. Um, and sometimes they'll, they'll hit the prey repeatedly. Could these ants bite us and hurt us? Very, very few ants can actually bite people and, and do damage. Even Odontomachus, which has these very powerful jaws, can't really do any damage. So what is it that enables these ants to move their jaws that fast? Is it the shape? I don't, I don't understand. They achieve such great speeds by using powerful muscles in the head. The ants open their mandibles to 180 degrees and then lock them into position. When trigger hairs beneath the mandibles brush an object, the mandibles are unlocked, releasing enormous energy and closing the mandibles with incredible speed. Wow, incredible. Here is some footage that researchers at Berkeley took of an odontomachus performing an escape jump, where the ant strikes their jaws on a hard surface to propel their body high into the air and away from a predator. In this video, the Antontomachus is performing the so-called bouncer defense jump, where the ant snaps its jaws on an intruder and is simultaneously catapulted away from the trespasser. There are even reports of Odontomachus jumping onto entomologists who open up their nests. Researchers at Berkeley have noticed that in the bouncer defense, the jump is primarily horizontal, while with the escape jump, the movement is primarily vertical. Where can we find the Odontomachus? Well, these ants are mostly tropical. Uh, they're, they're worldwide in distribution and are particularly diverse in Southeast Asia and the Neotropics. We're lucky in Arizona here to have a native species, which is unusual because um, very few ants in this subfamily, relatively few ants in this subfamily, um, live in dry places like the Sonoran Desert. And you can find them commonly nesting under rocks or at the base of uh, trees um, or under other, other objects on the ground. If you live in Tucson, make sure to look out for these ants in your own backyard. You can recognize them by their amazing mandibles. Contact me, Lisa Schwartz, at learning at towweb.org with questions and comments.